tips to pass your anatomy and physiology exam first time. Now I say anatomy and physiology exam, it could be any exam that you're studying. This is going to be your four methods, your four strategies to get the result that you really want. So first off, let's start with link. This is the first place to start. So you might not know anything about the heart or about anatomy and physiology, but you do know a lot of stuff about things you know about stuff. So, for example, if you're a car mechanic or an engineer, you might know about engines and pumps and things like that. So even if you don't know what a heart is, if you link these two things together, you then are able to understand it quicker. So it's about linking the unknown to the known so that you're able to file that information and actually access it as you need it. Now, the benefit of doing this is that, and the ease of doing it is that you can use any kind of metaphors or analogies as long as they're true and they work for you. So we use this a lot in our revision mastery series because it's the most effective way of learning. Link the unknown to the known to get the result you want and to make it stick. The next point is to move. Now, when people are studying, they often just sit still and um, literally just read and try and do it one particular way. But you really need to be open-minded to how you're learning. So if you can learn on the move, it's been proven to have a massive benefit to how, to how much information you actually retain. So the best thing to do is to pop your headphones on, go for a walk, walk the dog, that's a dog by the way, um, even better if you can do it outside, any of this movement outside, because of the good feelings that you get from being outside, in particular around trees, around nature, around water, anything like that will help the information stick better because you'll be in a happier place. Other places that people do it is the gym. As you're learning about anatomy and physiology, as you're learning about the body, work that body out and work the muscles that you're learning about in particular because it will really help you understand. So if you've just learned about cardiovascular systems, go and then use that cardiovascular system. Get on the treadmill and give it a go and it'll help everything stick a lot more. So move. Number three is about mocks. Mocks are really important uh, places to start, to be honest, because once you've done all this learning, you need to check what you're good at and what areas you need a little bit of improvement on. I definitely suggest you do it timed based on the time that you've got for your exam. So check that out. Make sure you know where you're at. If you don't have any mocks, then I'm going to pop a couple of links below this video so that you can access them. So first thing for the mocks is that for level two anatomy and physiology, we have 88 mock questions and also I'll put in there 101 mock questions for level three as well. So that will certainly keep you busy, but it's a good way of testing where you're at and then going back and working on the areas you found hard, even if you got them right, and the areas you potentially got wrong. Now, finally, you need to do a dump. And I mean a brain dump. So this is the fourth step. In order to pass, it is really important that you go in to exam day with a strategy, a clear strategy, so you know what you're going to do when the assessor says, and you may start. Now, what I really suggest you do is do a brain dump. This is about getting all of your key bits of information down on a bit of paper as soon as that session starts, as soon as the timer begins. And it's about emptying all that information so you can free up your brain, ready to be able to then uh, use that information for the specific questions that might come up. So there are four tips, four really good strategies to help you pass your anatomy and physiology exam first time. So when you're sort of looking through these, I'm really interested, which of these do you do at the moment and which of them do you not do at the moment? So pop a little comment below so that we can kind of understand where you're at with stuff. And also if you've got any particular questions about anatomy and physiology or about revision techniques, then please do put them in the comments below because that's what I really love about these videos is that then I can come and help you. So please do uh, pop a little comment below so I can do some more videos. And outside of that, make sure you hit like, do a little thumbs up. Um, and watch the next couple of videos as they go through. I will put some links down below under this video um, about our revision mastery series and how we link these things together and also about the mock papers that you can download for free from us as well. So good luck with your exam. Make sure you follow all four and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.